Neera, let me come to you uh, with that. You've just put out the Dasra report, and while there has been progress, both in terms of being able to raise philanthropic capital as well as CSR spending, FI23, the number stands at what? CSR 23,000 crores. What more needs to be done? What's the positive change that we've seen, but what do you believe needs to be done going forward? So probably we need to do a lot more. If you really look at India, culturally we give a lot, but there isn't much infrastructure to support that giving. So CSR, yes, gives a lot, but what our report also talks about is how powerful family philanthropy is, retail philanthropy is, and in fact that giving can take a lot more risk and can be more innovative. So a big part of what we've been trying to do is can you take some of that innovation and link it with government systems, because as you rightly said, they're one of the biggest, deepest pockets, and if you can't work through government systems like health and education, a majority of the population isn't gonna reach there. So what we saw this year was that more CSR giving that increase came from companies actually meeting the mandate rather yeah. than there actually being growth. But in family philanthropy, interestingly enough, it was the affluent givers, so professionals, folks who have jobs who are giving far more of their net worth than even the ultra high net worth. And first generation wealth creators doing more of the giving. Yes, and they're giving a lot more. Well, they have liquidity events, right? So once these liquidity events happen, we call them the now generation. So the now givers are putting quite a lot of money like the Comet Brothers, Rain Matter, putting into, or even having Ashish here, really putting money into foundations in climate and other kinds of issues that aren't always the traditional health, but more at an intersection. So you're seeing these now generation givers, you're seeing intergenerational, kind of like the panel we had before, Next Generation, is actually wanting to do a lot more in philanthropy and thinking about how they can be more strategic. And I think what's very exciting, and you'll agree with me, Shireen, is that we're seeing women-led philanthropy actually really move the needle, and if we can really get women to do more and be more of the decision makers. So they don't necessarily create the wealth as much, yeah. but they're actually leaning into doing that philanthropy. And our Giving Pie Network, which has about 300 families now collectively giving 1,000 crores to India, 70% of the, these families are actually women-led, as in they're the ones engaged in the philanthropy. So if I were to ask you, Neera, for one thing that you believe we need to prioritize, both from a private sector perspective, but also from the government's perspective, to create a much more enabling, facilitative environment to encourage more giving. I think we have to have some incentives, right? So I think... Incentives to give more? Yeah, like tax incentives. I think it can help. And I think, you know, we, we need to be able to do that and we need to have more visibility and transparency. So if the government can mandate and we know where giving is going, then we're able to enable that. So I think just having more players and strengthening that ecosystem, I think will really help. Okay. I